Hey, you're listening to Pure Light, where we explore how to become the highest version of yourself so that you feel worthy of your craziest dreams and confident in your power to make them happen. My name is Aili. I'm a coach and a Kundalini yoga and meditation teacher. This is episode 39, and it's about distracting yourself from your inner knowing. So I realized recently that I had done this a couple of years ago. And the thing that brought it to my attention is the fact that I've been sharing ideas on Instagram lately from the book that I'm working on. So I've been using the hashtag be the you that you love. And my original goal was to do this for 40 days. And when I passed that a couple of days ago, I decided to keep going, but it also made me reflect on where that idea came from. And I remembered that that was actually the tagline of my site a number of years ago. So when I first started my coaching practice, I wanted to build my business and my online presence as quickly as possible. And I had no idea how to do that because I had never really used social media at that time, except for LinkedIn, which I finally caved and joined at one point uh, before I left the corporate world because I kept getting invitations to join it. But I hadn't really used it. I had never been on Facebook. I had never been on Twitter. I had never been on like anything. And At that time, I started dating this guy who had a pretty big online presence. So he had a fair number of readers for his blog, and he also had a following on social media. And through our relationship, when I was talking about what I was up to and whatever, he would give me advice. And initially, the tagline for my site was be the you that you love, because I knew that I wanted to help people resolve issues related to self-image identity, inner conflict, and self-acceptance, and all that kind of stuff. And he really didn't get that tagline. And so it made me question my own judgment and my excitement about it. So even though it felt right, I started to doubt that it was the right choice. Because I was like, maybe he's right. I mean, he has he has success, or at least the perception of success online. And maybe this doesn't make sense. Maybe it's not the right thing. Maybe people aren't going to get it. And what that made me realize is that seeking other people's opinions can be a way of distracting yourself from your inner knowing. Because other people can't feel what you feel. They don't know what you know. And they haven't experienced what you've experienced because they aren't you. And ultimately, only you know what's best for you. Trusting someone else's judgment above your own is a way of abandoning yourself and abandoning your inner wisdom. And this is not to say that they're wrong. They're totally entitled to have an opinion and a perspective that's different than yours. And it's important to remember that that perspective will be informed by their past experience, which is also different than yours. And this is not to say that you should never seek advice or ask other people for their opinions. It's incredibly useful if you're still figuring out what's best for you, or if you're still kind of gathering information. But if you already know that something is true for you and you need to act on it, asking other people for their opinion can be a way of distracting yourself from that inner knowing, because it's a way of looking for them to validate what's true for you. So going back to my story, when I gave up on that tagline and that idea, be the you that you love a few years ago, it didn't feel good because it felt like I was giving up on something that was meaningful to me and without even really giving it a shot. So in a way, I kind of failed before I even began. And this idea ended up coming back through my work on my book. Because I've had a couple of different working titles as things have evolved in this process. And when this one resurfaced, I was like, oh my God, this is it. This is the book that this needs to be. And it's really exciting to to give this idea a shot now and see what happens. So just remember this. Only you can validate your inner knowing. No one else can do that for you. And the way that you validate it is by trusting it and by acting on it, knowing that it will guide you to your highest evolution. 
even if the results don't turn out the way that you think that they're supposed to. If you enjoyed this, subscribe wherever you're listening to get new episodes every week. And if you want a preview of the quotes and ideas from my book, find me on Instagram at EileyQtan, which is A-I-L-I-K-U-U-T-A-N. Or look for the hashtag be the you that you love. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, may you be guided by your light.